What's going on everyone? It's John from the Ob Tech channel coming at you today with an awesome video. We're gonna be doing a PC build today centered around the recently released APU from AMD, the A10-7860K that AMD was kind enough to send for review. As you know, AMD is known for making great bang for the buck processors and graphics chips. So in keeping with this theme, this is a budget build. This video will be divided into three parts. The first part will be the rationale behind the part selection that I selected on Amazon. The second part will be a time lapse of the actual assembly of the PC build. And third, some 1080p benchmarks and some popular games using different RAM so you'll get a really good idea of what to expect if you're doing a similar build. So a little bit about this desktop processor from AMD for socket FM2+. Plus. They are currently on Amazon for $115. It has a reduced TDP of 65 watts. It includes a near silent 95 watt thermal solution that has that team rad color going on. It has four CPU cores, eight GPU cores, with 512 streaming processors, and it turbos up to four gigahertz. So for a home theater PC that's also capable of some light gaming with its integrated Radeon R7 processor graphics, this APU could be a viable solution for a small form factor PC. For the motherboard, I wanted to keep the budget theme going, so for just $50 on Amazon, I picked up this Gigabyte motherboard on the FM2 Plus socket. It's the F2A68HMH Ultra Durable Motherboard. A little bit about it, nothing too fancy, but I'll let you take a look at the back for, so you can see the connectivity, HDMI, USB 3.0, 2.0, a D sub port, front USB 2.0 headers, and four SATA 3 ports. So really nice bang for the buck for a motherboard. It's nothing to write home about, but gets the job done. For random access memory, we went with two four gigabyte sticks of Corsair Vengeance Pro Series 2400 megahertz memory. These are red, so it matches the red AMD theme and that red cooler that comes with that APU. And APUs are known to perform better with higher RAM speeds. So for just $42 on Amazon, these two four gigabyte sticks from Corsair was a really good deal. And for storage, we went with a Samsung 250 gigabyte solid state drive. So I did splurge a little bit on this one since they go for $80 and change. But this one does have really fast read and write speeds. And I'll put a link in the description for some other storage options, including some SSDs that are a little bit less expensive. And also for some mechanical drives, perhaps the Caviar Blue one terabyte. Or if you're looking to save even more money, you could go with a 500 gigabyte drive at around $20 to $35. And for the power supply for just $35, I went with EVJ's 500 watt, 80 plus certified PSU with up to 80% efficiency under typical load. It also has a three year warranty. I know 500 watts might be a little bit of overkill for this build, but it was hard to pass up at just $35. And from Rosewell, we have a mini tower case that's perfect for that micro ATX motherboard. I'll put the exact dimensions of this case on the screen. It has two fans, one 80 millimeter fan, one 120 millimeter fan, it has two front USB ports. So at just $30, this case is very budget friendly, has a steel construction, gets the job done, and is perfect for this budget build. All right guys, let's do this.
All right, everyone, that wraps up this PC build and review of the AMD APU A107860K. I hope you enjoyed it. As you can see, the 2400 megahertz RAM complements this APU very well. So you let me know what you think in the comments down below of this build and this APU. And please be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and want to see more like it, maybe some more benchmarks of this APU or some other hardware that we'll receive to the channel. Thanks for watching everyone. Please be sure to subscribe. This is John from Tech. Catch you guys in the next one.